algorithms, a step-by-step -step procedure for solving a problem. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure that can be used to solve a specific problem. When developing a program, algorithms can be used to test out different methods of meeting specified outcomes through following different steps in order to achieve a solution. This method helps assess the logic of the program, which can be visually displayed as well as assist in the development of control structures, sequence, selection, and iteration that can be implemented into a program in order to improve functionality and efficiency. So essentially we can display our algorithms in two different ways. That of using pseudocode, which represents the steps within a system using a code-like language. And by pseudocode, it means it's not exactly a full programming language itself. It's kind of half English, but half like coding language. And it does this through using specific keywords that make it code-like. And those keywords are used in uh, in various forms, different types of programming languages. And then the other method is that of flowcharts, where we illustrate the steps of algorithms using specific symbols in a graphical format. So we're actually using shapes, symbols, and arrows to map out the logic of our program. And then that will be kind of our template for when we go to design our program. So we're gonna have a look at a sample algorithm now, and this algorithm is for a basic addition. Okay, so we're gonna develop a program that allows a user to enter in two different numbers, and then the software is to add the two numbers together and then display the result on screen. So let's get it started first. So we're gonna be doing this in a pseudocode format. It all starts off with a begin statement, and the begin statement says our program's name. And our program's name is a basic addition. You can see I've written that in yellow. Pretty much anything that I write in yellow is words we create as the actual programmer writing out our algorithm. And that's what I wanna name my program, so I've written that as a basic addition. Also, all the words in blue that I have on screen, they're all gonna be pseudocode keywords. So you can see begin is a pseudocode keyword there. But as said, this begins the algorithm for basic addition. The next line is then, we're gonna get A. Now A, and you can see it's yellow once again, is a variable. A variable that's gonna be a number that is entered by a user when they use my program. And it could be any number they can think of. It could be one, it could be two, it could be 25, it could be 3,035, okay? But it's a number we're expecting to be given to us by the user. It is a variable and it is yellow because once again, I can give it any name I want. Okay, but for coding sake and simplicity, I'm just keeping it as A because sometimes that's the logic we have at this algorithmic level. We haven't even thought of what we're actually gonna name our variables at this point. But essentially its purpose is to get the first number and records it as variable A. And you might be able to guess the next line now, straight from reading that, we've also got to get B, which is the second number from the user and it will record it under variable B. So now we have our two numbers recorded as two different variables as A and B. What we've got to do next is have C, okay? And C is going to be the addition of A plus B, okay? It's going to add the two numbers together and record it under the variable of C, okay? So C is the actual addition, but there's still one error we haven't addressed here, okay? We've got to actually get it on screen. So the final part to my program is display C, okay? So the value of C will be displayed on screen for the user to see. Now, that's all my steps there. I can go through them and see if they make logical sense in my head. Well, we had to get number one first. We had to get number two first. We're then adding the two numbers together and recording it as another variable. And then we're displaying that result on screen. That all makes sense, but my algorithm's not just over yet. If I've got to begin, I've got to have one more thing. And that's basically an end statement, end basic addition. So I still write the program's name there saying, this is the end of this program, all right? And that finalizes my algorithm. Now, as you can see, I've written on a lot of notes here so you guys can understand what's going on in this algorithm, but essentially that's what the algorithm looks like. Okay, they're the steps I'm gonna take in order to get my two numbers, add them together and display them on screen, the actual result of that calculation. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of the importance of algorithms in planning out our programs and really we're writing out procedures. Okay, we can use two ways of doing it, that of pseudocodes where we use that code-like language or flowcharts which I'll show in other videos that allow us to illustrate the actual program using symbols and diagrammically represent how the program should look. But I hope it's given you an understanding of what an algorithm is at this point.